Hello Reach Mage fans, players around the world, this is Sly and I'm back with another video guys and uh, for today's topic it's all about the builds or you know your setup or strategy okay uh, we'll talk each and every strategy uh, in a different video so uh, I, I want you guys to focus and make sure that you ask questions if you actually don't understand but before that let me just look this card here Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so all right, and today's very. It's going to be a, a really interesting topic because we're talking about uh, builds or strategy or what do you call it, like setup, equipment setup. Now we're, we'll talk first the one that really is the most interesting build. Uh, as for me, okay, and this is about the Mojo build, right? Now, before we move forward, I want to shout out to my friends Banjo, Astimads, Lazy Kim, iBoom, uh, Hitch. Who else uh, want to be shouted out? Um, any one of you guys who would like to be shouted out, please feel free to comment below or let me know, okay? And of course, consider hitting the like notification for our next video and of course, subscribing, okay? So, again, thank you for you guys. Thank you for supporting. Um, all right, and for some who I can no longer add, because imagine my friends, there's a, actually a lot, and it's 30 already. Uh, I can no longer add. It's 30. There's there's a lot of them here. Um, so Ferrari, shout out to you, Hot Boy, Rock, Baby Girl, Kalo. Uh, all right, so I guess that's pretty much about it. Um, now let's go back to our topic here. So let's talk about each build. I'm definitely going to share you the Mojo build, how it works, and uh, based just on my understanding. Uh, of course, um, it's I don't have the uh, like 100% knowledge, but I'm just going to share what I've uh, been, uh, what I've learned uh, about the Mojo build. So first, of course, the Mojo build. Uh, you want to set your your coming up to overpower in the base Mojo. So basically, for the uh, mojo a uh, player with high mojo will attack first okay so basically he will attack first and that could determine the outcome of the uh, duel right of the battle so mojo percentage increase mojo uh by a certain percentage all right now let's go here uh okay um recall that Alright, so there's the mojo. Okay, the base mojo reduces a certain percentage of the opponent's mojo. So depending on uh, the number of percentage, it would reduce the mojo. This is really effective. Overpower, increase your mojo, increase your own mojo value. So depending on the percentage. Let's say, for example, um, I have the overpower of uh, 52.36. And I, I, if I have a mojo here, then it would it would actually increase based on the percentage that uh, my overpower is and it's gonna uh, debase opponent's mojo based on what he have so this is really effective plus uh, mojo build is combined with the relic which is this right damage is 4.1 percent currently on level 8 for every 1 percent mojo greater than the opponent uh, mojo so imagine if your you know uh opponent has a lower mojo and he's gonna be one hit so let's go ahead and do some testing here okay so currently this is my mojo build i even haven't activated uh some of my potentials here so let's not activate the potential let's see um who's the tough guy here okay no one has actually a tough guy i'm uh, looking for you know the top two here but let's do that okay so one hit and uh here he this is the uh, president of the op guild which is uh always in top three because i don't want him to be top two um so let's let's hit him all right see if we can one hit him window crit so one hit right okay so um there's a lot of way where you can actually increase your mojo right for the mojo build uh one is of course obtaining the let's see let me just sell this thing right here so 
uh, and stop that. So it's kind of it's kind of disturbing. So again, to increase the mojo, uh, first of course you need to get a uh, higher equipment. A higher equipment gives you a higher mojo, of course. Uh, and basically, SSC, the high level of uh, SSC, uh, the high level, uh, higher level mojo or higher mojo it actually gives you, right? So, um, also other way of uh, obtaining the module aside from the equipment is uh, or, or increasing your mojo is enhancing your potential uh, ring for ring, okay? So, unfortunately, I don't have the SSC yet, but I'm actually looking forward to get one, which is the create and overpower, but this is really a good item. Um, some actually, as you notice, 1177, almost 1.2k, but this is only 1017. So that's a huge difference already. All right, so making this level 20 will increase your mojo to 250%. Say, for example, this is this current equipment gains additional damage. So the higher the mojo, the higher it would actually boost. Say, for example, 250% of uh, 1,000. So um, that's basically a 250 or 2,500, right? So imagine if you have this 1.2K or, or 1.1, right? So it would probably give you another, let's say, 2,700. So there's a 200 difference, right? So that's, that's uh, again one way of enhancing your mojo and um, also uh, the wings here like if you uh let's say improve your feathers it's gonna give you mojo let's say for example let's attack someone um let's just wait okay while waiting for that all right so the wings here would definitely give you mojo but it's a small amount of uh, mojo like plus one or plus two it's kind of random for feathers not wings sorry wings but when you get feather okay that's gonna give you mojo all right so let's attack someone here okay six five four three two one okay he's that he's the top two guy but I don't even have to activate my potential I'm not bragging about it but you know it's just I'm way stronger <laughs> okay so just that's a feather right um so i hope i can uh slow slow mo the video around have it in slow motion but when i click this you would notice here you go plus one mojo sometimes plus two sometimes plus three it depends all right that's an um different way or other way of increasing your mojo now uh let's go to here seals Okay, so seals, uh, of course, there's also like the aura, which is, uh, uh, it can only happen in, uh, you know, not, not aura, uh, here for aura, yeah, so it's gonna give you a mojo too, so red aura compared to, let's say, orange aura, so you would, as you would see, almost 500 points. Mojo 1080. This one is 1510. So it's like uh, 1430. Uh, or sorry, 430 difference. So it's gonna add up. So that's another way of increasing your mojo. But if you don't have, then let's stick to the orange, right? Uh, if you don't have uh, like resources to buy it. Now, other way is actually for gem. So, say for example, you can also use the strategy if your opponent is a bit uh, stronger, then when you attack him, make sure that his uh, potential is not active. So, during probably offline, you know, because you can beat, it, beat him online. So, during his offline mode, you can attack him and you can use the, not the orange charts, it's not going to give you a mojo, but uh, the yellow chart here. So that's going to give you 2,400 uh, mojo, right? That's huge enough, right, for mojo, 2,400. Imagine how, uh, how much it would go. Uh, it would go up. So let's just... So this is create and restrict. Okay, let's just at least change it for you to see. 
So here currently my mojo is 4,200. For 42,913, 42, okay? Sorry, I just drink the coffee, so. Um, and then let's change that to uh, yellow. Of course, yellow has an additional uh, mojo uh, stats, right? Here, if you're able to complete. So it's gonna give you an additional, of course. See, so almost like um, 3,000 all right so it will show here mojo there you go 1,800 plus 600 that's 2,400 mojo okay so let's just change it back crit restrict where's the crit restrict okay there you go all right so okay so another one way of increasing your mojo and of course the pet, the base stats of the pet would actually uh, will uh, benefit the, uh, the, the owner, right? The master. So it's gonna give you an additional mojo here too, uh, if you have the pet leveled up, okay? Or improved. All right, now that's another way, but the uh, way where you can get I guess the most mojo really is in seals, right? Seals, which is, you know, you'll get the, to upgrade seals, you'll get the points from, uh, you know, dwelling in ruins, right? Here in ruins here. So currently in the server, um, this solar ruins, uh, which is dominating, uh, I can't beat him yet, and I don't want to go into a spending battle with which. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have that kind of resources I did spend, but it's just really minimal, uh, for, just for content, right? And I use the strategy, not just the spending battle, right? He and Precious probably is a good match uh, in a spending battle. Let's see who will win, but I, I'll bet on Precious, like 100%, <laughs> All right? Uh, anyway, uh, let's, let's do this. Um, so by getting, you can get this, and uh, you can actually improve your seals right um divine seals you can upgrade so if you're gonna if you're gonna the divine seals like the what they call this the genesis you're gonna active the or activate the skills special skills then it's not gonna give you a mojo but if you choose to awaken then it's gonna give you something here mojo right so either it's a huge increase actually the higher the level the higher the increase in your mojo right so if you are really active spending a lot on seals which we're going to talk on a different video that this is something that you'd like to bank on right and the wings too so this is where which actually bitted me uh spending probably buying packs uh deal packs here which you know will uh give him Say probably this one, this one, and power of fate. Right? Imagine how much that is like 12,000. Wow. All right. I don't want to make Modo rich. So uh, there's already a lot of them was uh, being targeted. Uh, Modo targeted their ego and uh, they'd like to be the strongest and across the server. So, but you got to pay more to be able to do that. So I don't want that kind of battle. So I'm just trying to focus its strategy and uh, slowly giving some guides for you guys anyway go back going back so mojo is one of the best build here in uh, rage mage so the pros and cons pros is if you're the top one and if you're the strongest definitely you're gonna get a lot of buffs like say for example um, rune coin right so that's overpower okay already and yeah if you have the title uh a, a, there's a, a title here glory over power right so this title too right this in a uh, guild boss uh guild bosses right it's gonna give you a mojo and uh they're also a way like you know kind of expensive way which is the skin shop all right and they usually don't buy the, all of this but uh, i just went to some of the mojo uh, like i think assist looking gives you mojo here so I used to be a fan of Mojo, 
Uh, but when I came across which she's modules way too high because she invests a lot on the wings and uh, seals. Alright, uh, so I decided to go on a different strategy, which I'm going to share you how to beat this kind of strategy. It's hard to beat this one, but there's a way. Okay, so pros of, uh, you know, good thing about Mojo, if you are, your Mojo is way higher and you're, a bit, uh, you're stronger compared than your opponent and you have a good item set and, and then you're getting all the buffs as being the top one then basically mojo is really good for you but if you're up against uh an opponent who's higher mojo than you who probably has uh, more buffs uh then you don't need to use that because it's not gonna take any effect at all like his mojo is way too high right so uh let me do some of my friends here which is really uh one of the strong friends i ha have uh where is ferrari Ferrari guy. I don't want to put his on uh, spotlight, but this guy Mojo is right. Imagine this Mojo. He's, well, that's how this activated. Now let's see. He's not even using Mojo, but his Mojo is 4,800. Let's uh, do him here. All right. His potential is activated. He has like crit 216%. Now I'm not gonna switch. Or if you, I, I could switch just to probably I guess damage him a bit let's see uh, now I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the crit yellow so imagine 4500 is my mojo I don't want to activate this because <laughs> it's just a waste but let's just try a mojo here it's not a mojo build so uh, Ferrari where are you bro let me try uh, okay so let's see all right, and uh, hold on. Let me just customize my setup where I need to put everything in. And let's say um, crit resistance, right? So crit resistance. I think that's enough. I think I'm, I'm not sure it's even enough because 201, right? That's a lot of crit. So probably activate this. It's okay to activate this, it's not maxed up yet, but those ones that are actually maxed, uh, I, I don't recommend activating it because it's just going to be a waste of resources. You know, see, I'm even having a hard time getting all these resources here. Okay, so, you know, forget about it. Let's just, let's just duel this guy. Alright, <laughs> sorry, but, sorry guys, but, you know, I'm saving resources here, I don't want to... I'm not a whale who spends just I'm being I'm, I'm being strategic right. so let's battle him here let's see if I could manage to defeat him see that's wow that's it's powerful right because um, 368 218 and then potential is activated so and this he has, he has this so if I could avoid him uh, doing great maybe I could win somehow right but uh, let's say here, baby girl. Baby girl, I don't want to put you in spotlight, but let's do this. All right. So let's see what baby girl's build is. I think it's she's also in Mojo, all right? Okay, so she's all, she's also in Mojo. So just imagine her Mojo is forty thousand, and I'm just uh, my mine, mine is forty five thousand, and then uh, um, I'm and I have him on uh, grid resistance and. Uh, combo resistance is not even doing that much of a damage, right? So that's what you get if your opponent mojo is, is you know, really uh, it, It's too much. It's higher than yours Right, but if I change the setup this girl could actually kill me um, Let's see here and Let's battle him here uh, She can beat me um, I know it. Um, we've done it before. Oh, I've done it before, right? If she can crit, then she can definitely beat me, right? So. Okay, so I just managed to win uh, barely. Right? Let's see, one more.
Okay, it's just uh, I'm just stronger. But if probably we have the same stats, just 245, 191. Uh, and this is actually one of the counter mojo build. But I'll tell you that later on, right? Um, okay, so that's pretty much about it in mojo. So the pros is. Uh, the pros meaning that uh, the advantages um, if your mojo is higher than your opponent go ahead by by uh, any means you know use the mojo um, or activate make sure that you have the ring okay fully activated here so or fully uh, upgraded right and potential and whatever if you're using counter or if you're using crit or combo activate that right and what else uh just i just don't want to forget uh, something about, about the mojo and of course uh let's switch back to my mojo build now uh create restrict okay so here you go and then switch that to here switch that to that's your strict i'm good to go okay so that is that actually that's it for mojo build if you guys if you guys have any questions or suggestion or any comment barbaric reaction feel free to comment down below and of course don't forget guys don't forget always always to hit like right and of course subscribe and hit the notification bell now in the next video we're going to talk about a different builds how to counter this build and also a different you know different different build here so you guys are pretty much aware what do you think is the counter and or what do you think uh is the best strategy that you'd like to try all right so that's it for now this is Sly once again peace out